I went down to the cabin to move the generator and I noticed that this plastic plate was laying on the ground when I moved the generator and this bolt was falling out from underneath. I found that that's the cover for the bottom of the generator and this bolt goes in here. And you would think it would tighten up, which it should, but it's broken. So I gotta tear all this apart to see if I can get the rest of that bolt out and put a new one in. After the field coil was removed, all we had to do is remove the armature, but this proved to be a little more challenging. After a little bit of research, there was a suggestion to thread the end of the armature shaft and then insert a smaller diameter bolt and use it as a press and turn in your bolt and press off the armature. That idea w was great in theory, but it just didn't work out. So then we had to reassess and the next opportunity for advancing this project was brute force and using a heavy rubber mallet and give it a couple healthy whacks to the um, metal portion of the armature and that did free it from the end of the crankshaft. Not what I wanted to do, but it was the only way that we could get that thing off. As you can see, the end of the broken bolt is stuck inside of the crankshaft, so I had to uh, purchase the correct diameter drill bit as well as a bottoming tap so that we could drill out the remainder of the bolt and re-thread it for installation of the new bolt. Here you can see the new bolt versus the old one about a half inch of material was broken off of the original one. So I have no idea why this thing would vibrate out and then break off, but it did, and luckily we have it back together. If you have any ideas what caused this, please let me know. Thanks.